Yeah, I took Alex to Bradford City when he was about just gone three and a half years old, and he was a mascot. I always remember walking out in the car boat. Carboni boats, back in the day, white boats was, wasn't the fashion. Yeah, Ellis lost his mum when he was four year old due to cancer, secondary cancer, which was lung cancer, they never found the primary cancer. I met Sangeeta um, when Ellis was about four, four and a half year old, and luckily she took us on board, both of us. God help her. Not only did she take us on board, her family took us on board a mother and father, a sister and many other family members and they've given us much love and support throughout his life from being four year old. I can't thank them enough. Without them, we wouldn't be where we are today. Ten years we were diagnosed with breast cancer which were a very tough time for me and Ellis. But you know, of course, saying it, saying it, she fought it and beat it off in a breath and that's the positive mental attitude that she's given my son, our son, and he's going to kick ass and let's do it guys. If you know, Singy is a brave lady and my son's a brave lad. We can beat this. Well, um, I had a cough for probably around six months on and off. Um, been for several doctor's appointments, tried every tablet and medicine you can get from the supermarket. None of it worked. Um, Mum and Dad would keep saying to me, go to the doctors, you know, something's not right. I think they knew something wasn't right. And um, yeah, that was the 9th of December and I had a, had a lump just here. And uh, the doctor put his hand on my, on my neck and he looked at me in the eye and said, how long have you had that? And that's when I thought I knew someone right and got called in. And I think there were about five doctors in there and nurses. And it was like, you've got, you've got cancer. Um, they said they would, the stuff had to still be confirmed and the results had to all come back. But that, they basically said that that was what it was. And I remember breaking down right in front of mum and dad. Like, I didn't, didn't know what was going on, just broke into tears. I remember the first one uh, was supposed to be on a Friday uh, before the actual Monday I had it and uh, we were flying to Brighton to play Brighton on the Saturday and they said that you wouldn't be able to go, you know, and, uh, so I asked them if we could delay it as daft it sounds to a couple of days because I wanted to go on the private jet with the team to Brighton from Manchester, you know, to Heathrow and you know, go around the airport with the players, that was what you, what you dream of, so yeah, I did that and then come back the Monday, that was it, chemo. Uh, yeah, so I remember first walking on the ward, there's plenty of nurses on there, staff, social workers, carers that all just make you welcome. There's like a common room type thing with a pool table, um, it's got a TV, PlayStation, Xbox, just to make the day a bit extra comfortable for everyone that's in there. But yeah, the nurses in that, on that ward, they're unbelievable, they're all got their own different ways, you know, they're, they're all, they all do different things to cheer you up, to whether it's having a joke with you, you know, making something to eat, they're, they're always there, talk to you about anything. I had the idea of originally just raising a bit of money for for the ward. Um, I said to my dad in January, I think, oh, I want to do a fundraise, you know, raise a thousand pounds, something, we'll sit in a pub with 20 people, uh, see what we can do, and then here we are, 5th of May, I think there's over 250 people here tonight. Um, so it's, no, it means a lot. and. It's all for a good reason, and that's why all this money that we raise tonight for this, for the, well, what we've been raising in the past few months, all going to this ward that, that do look after people like me. The type of work that Alice is doing is really, really important. Um, it helps raise the profile of the ward so people um, in the local community can see what, what we do and what we're about. And it also is going to help go towards either medical equipment that we'll need or um, things to help make the patient stay more comfortable in the day unit. We've currently got pool tables, duty boxes, game consoles, but Ellis's work will hopefully make the stay even more enjoyable. Someone does see this video or know someone that's going through this or is about to go through it, um, the advice would just be to stay strong. Try as your best to carry on as normal. I think just try to distract yourself as much as you can. If you can't work, you can't work, but just do stuff with your friends, you know, keep on top of things and just, I think I'm a strong believer in if you believe you can do something, you can do it. And I've shown that from leaving school with zero GCSEs and zero A-levels, I'm not proud of it, but I believe that I could get to some point in my life with this job that I wanted to get into and luckily I've got there. But similar with this battle, I believe that I could beat it and I'm halfway there. I don't know I will beat it.
Ladies and gentlemen, I can't thank you all enough for what you've done. The support has been magnificent for what you've done for my son, me, my wife and my family and this amazing charity. Thank you very much. I hope you all have a good night. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Thank you. Hi Ellis, Tommy Eaton here from Burnley Football Club. Just want to wish you all the best tonight. Hope it goes well and uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you soon. Hey Alice, uh, just the gaffer here, just to say um, I wish you well to raise the money that you've been doing such a good job of, um, but also it's, it's great to see you looking well, you know, uh, you've gone through a lot, but you continue to be strong and positive about it, whenever I see you you're always smiling, that's a great marker and the lads appreciate that, you know, you never lack any energy around the group, no matter what your challenges are, so I wish you well uh, continually and of course to make sure that you raise enough money to make everyone happy with what you're trying to achieve, well done. Hi Alice, it's Peter Jackson, um, just wishing you all the best for tonight's uh, charity event. I realise what you've been through has been quite horrendous for you, but you've been magnificent the way you've dealt with it, the way you conducted yourself and the way you're raising money for char charity. We're here tonight, there's a fabulous evening planned for Ellis Lee to raise loads of cash. We hope you get the target you want and please everyone dig deep. Now sadly, Ellis, I do know your dad. I went to school with him and I can only say I hope you don't grow up as big and ugly as he is. Now Amy's been in makeup for several hours, not that you can tell, but she has joined me. Harry was going to come actually, but he's doing something with Todd Yorkshire. But we both want to wish you all the very best. We, do. we hope everybody digs really deep, gets some uh, money raised, and from everybody at BBC Look North, we want to say good luck yes. and have a great night. Good job Paul's not there because you won't get any cash out of him. <laughs> Hi Alice, hope you're well mate, hope you're having a really good evening. Just a quick message to say well done on all the awareness and fundraising that you've done over the past few months and that you'll be doing this evening. Um, I know it won't have been easy for you recently, I, I know about the treatment myself and I know how difficult it is but you've been amazing in everything that you've done and all the talking and, and various bits and pieces that you've got involved in. Um, just a message to say I hope you're really enjoying your evening, I'm sure it's going really well. You've been fantastic, you've been really strong. You're over halfway through now so, so you're nearly there, so keep doing what you're doing and I'll see you very soon. Yo, it's the boy AJ. I just want to give a shout out to my boy Ellis. I hope you're um, all good and stuff. I hope you get well soon as well. Keep fighting, bro. You got this first, man. That's up. Get up with eyesight, Ellis. You won't be laughing. Right, I'm ready when you are. Clap your hands. As most of you guys know, I'm Ellis' dad. Uh, Ellis, well done. Very proud of your song. Along with singing here, your mom, we love you a bit. You're doing amazing, mate, and we love you a bit. And you, what you're doing for charity is amazing. Very proud of you, along with most of this room. In fact, all this room. Love you a bit. Done. Yeah, yeah. Right. perfect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.